So I recently added this to my workspace and I bring my MacBook right over here to work when I need a bigger screen. Now, the only issue is I need a sort of docking station. All I have is this USB hub, which helps, but I need something a little bit more robust, which is why I got this CalDigit TS4. So in this video, I wanna do a quick unboxing and setup. So this just opens up real easy from the top. And let's see, the first thing I see up here is gonna be this quick start guide, which lets me know how to connect everything correctly. And then right below that, we're gonna have docking station itself. But first, let me put this to the side and let's see what else comes in here. There's gonna be like a small user manual and this baggie that has some rubber feet so we can install it on the docking station itself. And then there's a bunch of cables in here. So here we have a USB-C to USB-C cable. This is probably where I'll be attaching this to my MacBook to connect directly. And I guess because of the sheer power this is gonna use, there is also gonna be this charging block. And then there's also the power extension cable. And now let's go back to the docking station itself. All right, and there it is. It's got like a nice color. It's got these rivet edges all around. And then this is probably where I can put those rubber feet if I want it to be laid down flat. Otherwise, I could just lay it down on its side here. Uh, and then it already has this actually rubber coating on it. Now I'll see, I might just leave it like this uh, in the back of the desk so it won't like interfere much with it. But if I wanna put it this way, it's good that I can too. So let's take a look in the front. We have the SD card slot, the micro SD, the audio, uh, two USB-C and a USB-A port. And now on the back side, this is where there's a bunch of other ports and a lot that I won't be using. Um, but here's the ethernet cable, power adapter. We have three USB-Cs, four USB-As, a uh, audio jack. I'm not sure what this is here. A USB-C data cable, and then the display port. All right, so first things first, I wanna disconnect these other things and get rid of this USB hubs because I won't be needing that for the time being. And then now time to connect the power cable itself. All right, then attach this to the bottom. All right, so I have everything installed and here's what the setup looks like. So if you take a look at the back, there's the Cal Digit. And one thing I'm using for the monitor is actually gonna be just a USB-C cable. Uh, I know you could put like a mini display port, but I don't have that cable, so I just use that. And on the back side, you could see all the cables that are used up. So we have the power adapter in the back and then some USB-A, USB-C, then right here, I have this little attachment for my mouse, and then some other ones for the speakers, and then for like this light bar up on top, uh, and then, oh yeah, right here, the auxiliary cord uh, for the speakers as well too, and I still have some up front, so again, that display port, another USB-C, another USB-C, one more audio jack, a USB-A, and an ethernet cable. So right now I don't have an e ethernet cable attached. So I'm basically just using this USB-C one that's currently not attached to it yet. Uh, and then taking a look at the front, here you can see it's on because this light is on. Right there we have a SD card, micro SD card, two USB-C ports, USB-A port, and a headphone jack. And again, there's what it looks like. So yeah, everything's working pretty well. So now when I wanna use this setup over here, I like it just because all I have to do is bring my MacBook here, plug it in, and everything is already controlled. So I can just use the mouse because that's already attached to the back here instead of having to reattach everything to my MacBook. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with this setup. And yeah, that's a quick look at the CalDigit Thunderbolt Station.